f***ing am I, though? I wouldn't dream of it. Not after the review my strawberry got. Right needs to learn to do things on his own. I packed your briefcase, sir. Thank you. <laughs> you make things far too easy for the boy. <laughs> never become a man. Doesn't have that boyish thing happening, sir. Well, there we are. Are the kids yours, or does he do everything for you? I'm serious, Miss Fun. And just because Brighton has a trust fund, don't think I'm going to let him end up jet-setting around the world, skiing and yachting and flitting from party to party. Oh, he's got far too much pride for that. I mean, for me, it'd be nice. <laughs> I am sorry I'm late. I had to pack a bag. They're fumigating my apartment. They've tried that before. You always come back. <laughs> anyway, it's very difficult to find a hotel that will accept dogs. Did you promise you wouldn't hump the bellboy's leg? <laughs> Oh, Niles, it's a pity we don't see more of one another. Maxwell, I just had a crazy notion. Why don't Chester and I stay here? <laughs> yes, of course, Cece. Niles will take care of everything. Oh, good. Here you go. Give him one of these pills three times a day. I'll put it in his food. Wrong end. <laughs> Well, I just thank God that I was making tea while opening the mail when this envelope addressed to you accidentally steamed open. <laughs> Applications for military school? I can't believe you're thinking about sending my baby away. Who is this man I'm living with? I, I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> It's fine. I happen to think discipline is a way of showing love. Well, I am seeing a whole new side to you that, frankly, I find intriguing. <laughs> oh, look, Mr. Sheffield, you got a cat on your terrace. He's probably hungry. I, uh, I feed him something this time every day. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, I thought you said you hated cats. No, I hate Andrew Lloyd Webber's cats. <laughs> Here, shoes. Shoes? Yeah, Roger Clinton's cat from next door. Socks his sister. <laughs> shoes and socks. And these are the people they think are clever enough to orchestrate whitewater? <laughs> oh, Mr. Sheffield, you better watch her. Look at this. You've got a little bird's nest with three little bird's eggs. <sighs> I thought birds laid their eggs in the spring. She's a bit late, isn't she? Hey, it's the 90s. She don't have to lay eggs the minute she moves out of her parents' nest. <laughs> Maybe she spent the last three years sitting on somebody else's eggs, <laughs> waiting for that certain gray streak pigeon to make his move. <laughs> Doing? It's my science project. Maggie gave me the idea. See, I'm comparing different types of lipsticks to see which one's going to stay on the longest. Oh, well, that's a good one. <laughs> Honey, that's not going to get you an A in science, but it'll definitely get you out of military school. <laughs> oh, right, it stinks. You know what? Military school might not be so bad. Fran, when I'm gone, I want you to have my room. Honey, stop it. I don't want it. Sure, I could break through that wall and create a fabulous dressing area with a tremendous walk-in closet, but I don't need that. I need you. Are these hardwood floors under here? I could just think of a great science project. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't.